This is the video documentation for the demo scenes of the Focal Point VR Unity Asset. A text version of this documentation is also available inside the asset itself as a README. Now before we begin, I just want to note something about the controllers. Uh, this is the trigger button and this is the grip button. Now for the purpose of these demos, we're going to be using the grip button to grip objects. Uh, this isn't the most obvious choice because the trigger would be the most obvious, but through testing we found that the grip button felt the best and it also reserved this analog trigger uh, with a lot more interesting uh, interactivity. Uh, the ability to be used for more sophisticated interactions. Uh, if you want to remap those, you can. You can do those in the Steam VR controller adapter. Just make sure you have the right one and you have to just modify the scripts in there. The focal point asset depends on the Steam VR Unity asset and therefore requires a little bit of additional setup. After importing both the focal point asset and the Steam VR asset into your Unity project, open up any of the focal point demos, then add the Steam VR prefab camera rig prefab to the demo scene on the object hierarchy. After you do that, drag the drag me into camera rig object so that it is inside the camera rig object that you just added. Then you're all set, press the play button and gear up. In the first demo, you'll be throwing a red ball, modifying its position and scale, and using it to interact with the cube wall. With one controller, grip and drag to translate the ball the same distance that you translate your hand. If you grip, drag, and release at the right time, you can throw the ball. A quick tip I learned when demoing this in the lab, don't think of it as you using a controller to pick up an object. You'll probably get better results if you think of it as you picking up an object and throwing it directly. Now this behavior is the same regardless of how far away you are from the ball, meaning that you can throw this ball to yourself remotely. Uh, you can scale the ball by using two controllers and gripping and dragging your hands closer and further apart. The ball will scale accordingly, similar to pinch and zoom on a touch screen. The ball will scale relative to your pivot point, or the point halfway between your two hands. Please note that scaling objects that are already far away will push them closer and further away. If you'd like to, you can disable the scaling by finding the sphere game object and checking lock scale in the focal point VR manipulation handler component. Lastly, if you grip and drag using two controllers, you can rotate the ball around this pivot point. Again, that's the point between your two hands. In this manner, you can quickly pivot the ball around you. To reset the level, simply toss the ball over the edge. In the second demo, you'll be able to select and manipulate one of many pills springing from a fountain. Point one of your controllers to a pill and pull the trigger all the way down. A faint halo will appear around the object to indicate that you've selected it. Using the same interaction patterns in Demo 1, manipulate the pill as you see fit. If you want to, you can try catching new pills in midair by triggering to select and gripping really quickly in succession. From there, you can toss the object toward your head and catch it. You can try out a different manipulation mode by going into the camera rig, then finding the Focal Point VR Steam VR Adapter Demo 2 component, and then check the box labeled Enable Pinned Mode. Now, when you grip with one controller, the pill you've selected is pinned to your controller's rotation. This will make interacting with distant objects feel very different from before. This allows you to throw pills very far very quickly, but it will also unlock rotational inertia if you're throwing a pill back and forth between your hands. The third and fourth demos are focused on manipulating an environment so as to make them easy to navigate through. In demo three, just like before, grip and drag to translate the environment in the same distance that you're translating your hand. For large scale movements, point your controller down on the ground in front of you, pull the trigger completely, and hold. When you move your controller around, the world is going to move around you under your feet. By default, the laser has a max distance of 7 meters. This is because accuracy goes down when you raycast into the horizon. If you'd like to modify this, you can set it in the drag me into camera rig game object, the focal point VR steam VR adapter component. To enable rotation and scale, Go to the scene game object, find the focal point VR manipulation handler component, and uncheck lock rotation and lock scale. Or you can just proceed to demo 4. Demo 4 is a continuation of the techniques introduced in demo 3. Just like in demo 3, with one controller you can grip and drag to translate the environment. With two controllers you can grip and drag towards and away from each other to scale. With two controllers you can also grip and drag around each other to rotate. For large scale movement, you can point two controllers to the ground and move it around as if it were a giant touch screen. To move very far distances very quickly, scale the world really far down, move over to the new space, and then scale the world back up. 
So that's it for the demos. Hopefully they provide a good picture of how useful these techniques can be. Uh, if you'd like to roll your own interactivity based on this work, uh, there's documentation on that in the README. Uh, additionally, if you want more information about the manipulation handler object, that is the component that you add to the objects that you're going to manipulate, uh, there's additional documentation in the README as well. That's pretty much it for the demos. Thank you for looking at the demos. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or feedback or whatever, please send them my way. Uh, I love feedback and I love incorporating that into my development process. Uh, additionally, this project is open source, so if you have um, ideas that you want to present to me as code, uh, please do send me a PR. Uh, I will uh, definitely take a look at those, uh, incorporate them whenever appropriate. Uh, and then additionally, um, if you want to be notified for any updates that I make in the future, uh, just sign up to the mailing list. That's the main uh, avenue through which I'm communicating to uh, people who are using this. So thank you very much again for watching and for trying out the demos, and I'll see you next time. Peace.